Listening Test In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're leaving the room. B. They're turning on the machine. C. They're standing near the table. D. They're reading the newspaper. Statement C. They're standing near the table. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. They're shaking hands. B. They're waving to one another. C. They're walking around a tree. D. They're walking side by side. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. He's riding a motorcycle. B. He's walking to the bike shop. C. He's working in a repair shop. D. He's getting a tool from a shelf. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. Customers are lined up to pay for their books. B. The people are standing at a table. C. There are boxes stacked on the table. D. Many books are on display. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. He's sorting papers into a pile. B. He's straightening his tie. C. He's leaning over his desk. D. He's opening a folder in front of him. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The traffic is moving through the city. B. The vehicles are entering the tunnel. C. The buses are parked in a row. D. The buildings have no windows. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. They're building a fence. B. They're setting up chairs. C. They're camping in tents. D. They're using umbrellas. Go on to the next page. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. He's fishing from a boat. B. He's looking at a pile of fish. C. He's eating from a dish. D. He's standing on a scale. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. 
The bed has not been made today. B. The curtains have been closed. C. There's a picture hanging on the wall. D. There's a lamp at the foot of the bed. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. People are waiting next to the vehicle. B. The vehicle is pulling into a garage. C. The vehicle's windows are being cleaned. D. People are crossing the street. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The tables in the restaurant are round. B. The chairs have been pushed in. C. The restaurant is full of diners. D. There's a window next to the door. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear Where is the meeting room? You will also hear A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at two o'clock. The best response to the question, Where is the meeting room? is choice B. It's the first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. What do you usually do on the weekend? A. I often work at home. B. I do like weekends. C. Very well, thank you. Number 12. Is this the newest type of battery? A. That's too bad. B. No, I'm not. C. I think it is. Number 13. Why was Mr. Johnson out of the office this week? A. It will be postponed until next week. B. I think it makes my office look bigger. C. I was told he called in sick. Number 14. Where are you going on your business trip? A. To Japan. B. On the second. C. By plane. Number 15. Can you email that information to me now? A. At the post office. B. I'll send it right away. C. That's amazing. Number 16. How may I direct your call? A. Thanks for calling. B. To room service, please. C. No, it's in June. Number 17. When did you move into this house? A. It's not moving at all. B. About three times. C. Almost a year ago. Number 18. Mike wasn't in his office, so I gave the lab report to Carla. A. I didn't either. B. Okay, I'll tell Mike. C. We have a brand new lab.
Number 19. Who's ready for another slice of pizza? A. Yes, I've read it. B. I couldn't eat another bite. C. That's Mr. Thompson. Number 20. Would you mind helping me look for my camera? A. What kind is it? B. I don't have any photos. C. Thanks for your help. Number 21. Does this book belong to Chelsea or Martha? A. Actually, I think it's Tammy's. B. Don't forget to take your belongings. C. We don't have any more of those bags. Number 22. Why is all the office furniture covered? A. No, there's some left over there. B. I'm not sure what it will cover. C. They're painting over the weekend. Number 23. What was Mr. Wan's idea for increasing our sales? A. No, it's not on sale. B. He wants to advertise more widely. C. That's a good price. Number 24. Do you sell road maps? A. I don't know that street. B. It's not on this map. C. No, try the bookstore across the street. Number 25. You haven't seen Ms. Lee anywhere, have you? A. Not since yesterday. B. Because she's new. C. Anywhere is okay with me. Number 26. I can't remember which of your sisters is coming into town next week. A. Next week is fine. B. It's Lena, the oldest one. C. Don't forget to go. Number 27. Hasn't anyone taken your order yet? A. That's enough. B. No, I'm still waiting. C. We'll take two. Number 28. Why don't you make some cuts to the travel budget? A. I'll try, but it's not going to be easy. B. I don't know him well. C. It's at our first aid station. Number 29. Where can I find a locksmith near here? A. We won't be back till tomorrow. B. Yes, I'll lock it when I leave. C. There's one on 3rd Street. Number 30. Would you like to work in here or shall we go somewhere else? A. Yes, I really like my new job. B. No, I don't think he would. C. Let's work in the other room. Number 31. Why'd they end the contract talks? A. They didn't like the offer. B. It's just through that door. C. The director gave me one. Number 32. Who has been appointed to chair the hiring committee? A. There are none available today. B. It hasn't been announced yet. C. No, I don't think he has. Number 33. Is the bank relocating? A. There were only two local branches. B. I use the bank once a week. 
C. It's not going to move after all. Number 34. When does Miss Hudson send orders for new supplies? A. That's not what I ordered. B. On the first day of every month. C. I was very surprised to hear that. Number 35. I hope these statistics are correct. A. I checked them carefully. B. No, the ones in the corner. C. We'll help you collect papers. Number 36. What does a round trip flight to Hawaii cost? A. The flight is delayed. B. I'll have to look that up. C. How much is it? Number 37. How long has it been since I saw you last? A. I think this dress is too long. B. I used to sew quite a bit. C. Quite a few years. Number 38. You should probably take the train to avoid traffic. A. I didn't bring anything on the train. B. That's what I'm planning to do. C. The transaction was voided. Number 39. Aren't you pretty busy working on your research? A. No, I have a little time. B. Very attractive. C. I searched everywhere. Number 40. You've already applied for a grant, haven't you? A. Yes, I've submitted my proposal. B. Nothing is on the ground. C. It's an appliance store. Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi. I lost my cell phone in the front lobby this afternoon, right after I checked in. I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, we haven't seen one. OK, a y well, I'm staying in room 918. If you hear anything, would you please let me know? Will do. Let me call the security office and see if they know anything about it. Number 41. Where does the conversation take place? Number 42. What is the man looking for? Number 43. What will the woman do next? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Jody, I emailed you yesterday about Jim Smith's retirement party tomorrow. Do you think you can help me set it up? Yes. The only problem is that I have a meeting until 5 o'clock. I can't get out early because I'm presenting my project at the meeting. No problem. The party doesn't start until 7 o'clock, so we'll have plenty of time to set up the tables and chairs. Number 44. What are the speakers discussing? Number 45. What does the man want the woman to do?
Number 46. When does the woman's meeting end? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. This is the registration desk. May I help you? Hi, I was calling to reschedule an appointment I have with Dr. Goto on June 13th. Have you been a patient here at the Mara Clinic before, sir? Yes, just once. I saw Dr. Hansen at the end of last year. I think it was in December. Number 47. Who most likely is the woman? Number 48. What does the man want to do? Number 49. When did the man see Dr. Hansen? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I need to make 30 copies of this flyer for the book sale on Thursday, but the copying machine is broken again. Well, it's only Monday. Maybe we can get it repaired before then. I think it's beyond repair. I think we need a new one. How about if I call Tom in the purchasing office to see if he'll approve a purchase order for a new machine? Number 50. What is the problem? Number 51. When does this conversation take place? Number 52. What does the woman suggest they do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. I heard that Fran retired last week. Are they planning to hire anyone to take her place? I hope so. We're already understaffed, and the contract we got yesterday will need more work. I agree. Maybe they can move someone from the merchandising office over here. Number 53. What problem are the speakers discussing? Number 54. What happened yesterday? Number 55. What does the man suggest as a solution? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Now that my business is expanding, the office is starting to seem too small. I've started looking for a new place to rent. Have you looked at the area around the train station? There are some business properties that are being renovated there. That's a good idea. I'll look over there tomorrow. According to the weather forecast, tomorrow should be a nice day to walk around. Number 56. What is the man's problem? Number 57. What does the woman suggest the man do? Number 58. What will the man most likely do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, is Kathy Capriola playing in the afternoon show today? Yes, but all tickets for that show are sold out. 
There are some available for the evening performance, though. Okay, I'll be back for tonight's show. Can I buy tickets now? Sure. How many would you like? Number 59. Where does the conversation take place? Number 60. Who is Kathy? Number 61. What will the man do tonight? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. The Board of Directors asked for some adjustments to the budget proposal for next year because the cost of fuel has increased so much. Well, we're sending the annual report to the printer on Thursday. Will the new proposal be ready by then? Yes. I had Jade in accounting check the figures on Monday, so I can send the revision over to you this afternoon. OK, a y then once I look over the statement from the board, we should be all set. Number 62. Who requested the changes in the budget proposal? Number 63. Why was it necessary to change the budget proposal? Number 64. When will the annual report be sent to the printer? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Has the sink and lab tube been repaired yet? No. I talked to the plumber yesterday and he said he wouldn't get here to fix it until Friday. But it's only Tuesday. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? I think we can shift some of the test work into labs 1 and 4 if we need to. The space will be tight with the extra workers, but at least we can run all the scheduled analyses. Number 65. Who most likely are the speakers? Number 66. What problem are the speakers discussing? Number 67. What will the speakers probably do next? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation Sarah, our regular shipper has raised its rates considerably. Would you have time to do a cost comparison of other shipping companies? Well, first I need to make a list of what's in these boxes, but that shouldn't take too long. When would you need the information? Oh, by the end of the week is fine. I'm hoping we can present our findings at Monday's meeting and persuade the managers that we could save money by changing shipping companies. OK. a y After I've finished with the boxes, I'll see what I can find out about the shipping prices at other places. Number 68. Why is the man concerned? Number 69. What does the man hope to do? Number 70. What will the woman probably do next? Go on to the next page. Part 4 Directions You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, 
C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Brown. This is Stacy Jackson from McDougall's Bookstore. I'm calling at 2 o'clock on Thursday, and I just wanted to let you know that the book on printmaking you ordered has come in. We're closing at 5 tonight, but we'll be open from 9 to 8 tomorrow and Saturday. You can pick it up at the front desk. We'll see you at the store soon. Number 71. When did Stacy Jackson leave this message? Number 72. At what time does the store close today? Number 73. What is Mr. Brown asked to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. This announcement is for all second shift supervisors. Please make sure all production floor pathways and fire exits are clear of obstructions. An inspector from the fire department will be checking the premises from 7 to 8 p.m. tomorrow. We want a clean report, so we're counting on each supervisor to take responsibility for his or her respective shop area. Number 74. What is the main purpose of this talk? Number 75. Who will visit the production floor? Number 76. What are listeners expected to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Good morning and welcome to the annual convention for entertainment magazine publishers. Our seminar this morning will discuss ways to research trends in the music industry. In the afternoon, you'll have the opportunity to try some of these research methods using an invaluable tool, the Internet. We've set up three rooms with Internet access for this purpose. If you'd like more information about this afternoon's schedule, check at the Information Desk in the Convention Center lobby. If you're not sure where the Information Desk is, just follow me at the end of this seminar. Number 77. What is the topic of today's conference seminar? Number 78. What will the participants do in the afternoon? Number 79. Where should seminar participants go for more information? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following short talk. Welcome to New Employee Orientation. Here's what we're doing today. First, you'll each get an employee identification badge. Then we'll take a tour of the facility. The folder in front of you contains a map of the building. Please refer to the map during the tour. There are also some forms in the folder for you to complete. After the tour, we'll all have lunch together in the cafeteria. If you get separated from the tour, just meet us at the cafeteria at noon. Again, refer to the map in your folder if you need help finding anything. After lunch, your supervisors will show you to your specific workstations. And if you're wondering when you'll finally submit all of your paperwork, it's after lunch when you meet with your supervisors. Number 80. What is the main purpose of the talk? Number 81. 
Number 81. What is included in each person's folder? Number 82. When will the employees hand in the forms? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we regret to inform you that the 10 a.m. National Airlines flight from Philadelphia to Seattle has been canceled. There is another flight scheduled to leave from Gate 3A here in Philadelphia at 1 p.m. and arrive in Seattle at 7 this evening, with a short stopover in Chicago. We apologize for the inconvenience. Each passenger on the canceled flight will receive a coupon for $50 off a future flight anywhere in North America. Again, the flight from Philadelphia to Seattle via Chicago will leave Gate 3A at 1 p.m. and arrive in Seattle at 7. Number 83. When is the new flight scheduled to arrive at its destination? Number 84. What is National Airlines offering? Number 85. Where will the new flight depart from? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming tonight to celebrate the opening of the Peabody Wing of the Green Valley Science Museum. I'd like to hand the microphone over to a very important person, Mr. James Lawry, architect and designer of the Peabody Wing. Mr. Lawry is known worldwide for his innovative design concepts and practical style. We can certainly see that here. He has given us a state-of-the-art, user-friendly space in which to feature our special interactive science exhibits. In fact, next month we will feature our first exhibit, Astronomy in Focus. Please join me in welcoming Mr. James Lawry. Number 86. Where is the event being held? Number 87. Who is James Lowry? Number 88. What will happen next month? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. The Sydney Eagles would like to thank all of you for supporting us this season. At this time, we'd like to remind our fans that tickets are still available for tomorrow night's game against the Rutherford Panthers. Come back and cheer for your Sydney Eagles as they play for the title of Pacific Conference Champions. To purchase tickets, visit the ticket office on your way out of the stadium. Remember that the first 500 ticket holders to arrive at tomorrow's game will receive Sydney Eagles t-shirts paid for by Sharma's Sporting Goods, our sponsors for tomorrow night's game. Sharma invites you to visit any of their convenient store locations for all your athletic clothing needs. Gates open one hour before the start of the game. We'll see you then. Number 89. Where would the announcement most likely be heard? Number 90. What will be given away tomorrow night? Number 91. Who paid for the item being given away?
Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following business report. As you know, last year we decided to add coffee shops to our larger stores. Now people linger at the stores and buy more housewares and furniture after they've eaten. On Monday, I received our sales figures and I am pleased to report that our sales in London and New York have increased by 20%. However, in the Paris store, sales have had no change. We're not sure exactly why, but this may be due to the unusually warm weather, which began about two weeks ago. So, we've decided to try marketing some cold beverages there to lure people into the store. Number 92. What were introduced at some of the stores? Number 93. When did the speaker receive the sales figures? Number 94. In which city have sales remained the same? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following speech. Thank you for the generous introduction, Mr. Park. I am delighted to be here tonight to receive this prestigious award. I've been an avid reader since my childhood, but my interest in writing didn't start until I was at university when I wrote for a campus newspaper. At around the same time, I started writing short stories as a hobby. I never imagined that my hobby would turn into a career. If Mr. Oberly, my agent, hadn't encouraged me to submit my writing to publishers 10 years ago, I wouldn't be standing here today. So, Mr. Oberly, thank you. I couldn't have asked for a better agent. I would also like to thank all of my readers. I will continue to share my stories with you. Number 95. What is the purpose of the speech? Number 96. What is true about the speaker? Number 97. Who is Mr. Oberly? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following short talk. I'm Alan Lamb, and you're listening to Business Today on HK Radio 1. Results of the National Manufacturers Association's annual survey were released today. Nearly three out of four survey respondents indicated that having high-quality employees is the factor most critical to their success. The second most commonly selected factor was new product innovation. Most respondents noted that they must create innovative products in order to compete in the global marketplace. Surprisingly, low-cost production ranked third in the survey. In the past, this has been the number one response, with manufacturers placing an emphasis on inexpensive operations. Now, it appears, executives are hoping to have high-quality employees and be innovative too. Number 98 who is Alan Lamb? Number 99. Who responded to the survey? Number 100. How did the survey responses differ from those of previous years? This is the end of the listening test.